Hey there, gang. I'm my radar meteorologist, Matthew Capucci in Washington, D.C. Francine is now forecast to make landfall as a Category 2 hurricane. Storm surge and hurricane warnings are in effect for coastal Louisiana, where gusts over 80 miles per hour and a 5 to 7 foot storm surge are possible. Heavy rains then spread inland up the Mississippi and Tennessee valleys and across the deep south. We could also have a tornado risk across Louisiana and Mississippi on Wednesday, then Alabama on Thursday. Obviously a very active weather setup. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm likely heading down to the Gulf in like three hours, so again, stay tuned for more storm chasing and follow my radar across the board on all social media platforms too. So let's dive in with the latest satellite. You can see this thing is obviously spinning. It has some convection thunderstorm activity, but some dry air has infiltrated it in the past six hours, meaning it's not quite as solid as it could be. Here's what it looked like this morning on visible satellite once the sun came up and illuminated the cloud tops. But as Francine works north and eventually northeast today, it should have an easier time intensifying over water temperatures between 85 and 88 degrees. That's why we think it will plateau around a high-end Category 2, possibly, over the open waters on Wednesday. It will start to weaken as it approaches the coast thanks to dry air kind of invading the circulation. And number two, we got harsh upper level winds trying to knock the storm off kilter. Still gusts of 80 to 90 miles per hour are possible at the immediate coastline in the eye wall, the innards of the storm, in addition to three to five feet of surge to the east, the right of the center, where onshore winds pile water against the coastline. A few folks could see five to eight feet of surge. Truth be told, I think we'll even see 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts in like New Orleans, Lafayette, pretty much up to the Interstate 10 corridor in Louisiana before the winds finally start to weaken farther inland. Four to eight inches worth of rainfall are also possible with localized double digit totals. But the issue is we're not sure just how far back west the left edge gets because it really depends on the storm track. So again, different models, different left edges, but still eastern Louisiana definitely getting a good deal of water. Then the low pressure moves inland and starts to fill in, meaning lesser of a vacuum effect and resultantly lesser winds. Still, gusts of 40 to 55 miles per hour are possible in the Mississippi Valley, as well as two to four inches worth of rain. Then on Francine's right side, we'll probably see kind of an arcing band of thunderstorms, dry air punching into moisture, forming that arcing band, and there's enough spin that we could see some tornadoes Wednesday across like, I'd say so, uh, southeast Louisiana, maybe southern Mississippi, into perhaps western Alabama. And then Thursday, Alabama, it's mainly you guys, a marginal level one out of five risk of tornadoes in your area. In the meantime, like I said, I'm probably heading down. Jordan Hall will be down there as well. We've got you covered every step of the way. Erica Lopez will be in studio too. Our editors will be here around the clock keeping tabs on this. And like we said, we are with you every step of the way. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox and Windows.